I'd no idea Lord Elrond had sent for you. He didn't. I did. Saruman. You've been busy of late, my friend. Tell me, Gandalf, did you think these plans and schemes of yours would go unnoticed? Unnoticed? No, I, I'm simply doing what I feel to be right. The dragon has long been on your mind. That is true, my lady. Smaug owes allegiance to no one. But if he should side with the enemy, a dragon could be used to terrible effect. What enemy? Gandalf, the enemy is defeated. Sauron is vanquished. He can never regain his full strength. Does it not worry you that the last of the dwarf rings should simply vanish along with its bearer? Of the seven dwarf rings, four were consumed by dragons. Two were taken by Sauron before he fell in Mordor. The fate of the last dwarf ring remains unknown. The ring that was born by Thrain. Without the ruling ring of power, the seven are of no value to the enemy. To control the other rings, he needs the one. And that ring was lost long, long ago. It was swept out to sea by the waters of the Anduin. Gandalf, for 400 years we have lived in peace, a hard-won, watchful peace. Are we, are we at peace? Trolls have come down from the mountains. They are raiding villages, destroying farms. Orcs have attacked us on the road. Hardly a prelude to war. Always you must meddle. Looking for trouble where none exists. Let him speak. There is something at work beyond the evil of Smaug. Something far more powerful. We can remain blind to it, but it will not be ignoring us. That I can promise you. A sickness lies over the Greenwood. The woodsmen who live there now call it Mirkwood. And uh, this, they say... Well, don't stop now. Tell us what the woodsmen say. They speak of a necromancer living in Dol Guldur, a sorcerer who can summon the dead. That's absurd. No such power exists in this world. This necromancer is nothing more than a mortal man, a conjurer dabbling in black magic. And so I thought too, but Radagast has seen- Radagast? Do not speak to me of Radagast the Brown. He's a foolish fellow. Well, he's odd, I grant you. He lives a solitary life. It's not that. It's his excessive consumption of mushrooms. They've addled his brain and yellowed his teeth. I warned him. It is unbefitting one of the easterly wandering the woods. You carry something. It came to you from Radagast. He found it in Dol Guldur. Yes. Show me. I would think I was talking to myself. All the attention is okay. By all means. What is that? A relic of Mordor. Of Angmar, and very 
stayed with him. When Angmar fell, the men of the north took his body and all that he possessed and sealed it within the high fells of Rudal. Deep within the rock, they buried him. In a tomb so dark, it would never come to light. This is not possible. A powerful spell lies upon those tombs. They cannot be opened. What proof do we have this weapon came from Angmar's grave? I have none. Because there is none. Let us examine what we know. A single orc pack has dared to cross the Bruinen. A dagger from a bygone age has been found. And a human sorcerer who calls himself the Necromancer has taken up residence in a ruined fortress. It's not so very much, after all. The question of this dwarvish company, however, troubles me deeply. I'm not convinced, Gandalf. I do not feel I can condone such a quest. If they'd come to me, I might have spared them this disappointment. I do not pretend to understand your reason for raising their hopes. They are leaving. Yes. You knew. There's nothing else for it. My Lord Elrond. The dwarves. They've gone. 